Hello everyone who is drawn to this channel for this reading. I'm doing the status of the goddess and what she needs to heal and some advice from Goddess Mother Isis, Alana Fairchild, Sacred Rebel, will give us some instruction. Then you will see what needs to be healed. And then we will take a look at the love oracles, the love angels. So this is for someone I know not who. If you're coming back to my channel, welcome back. I love you. Subscribers, you're my world. You're amazing. I love you so much. May you all be well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one of each card and lay them down, trusting the divine to guide me. This is a very special night for me. I have been spending the whole week, most of it, with babies and children and little children because my divine guides have led me. Whoa, someone got free yourself. Wow. What else do they want to say? The Romance Angels are speaking tonight. People are shifting and going through changes. Mercury retrograde is kind of slowing some things down, I noticed. However, I also noticed that a lot of people will be wanting to come back and reconcile at the same time you're trying to start something new, maybe. And uh, you have to really, really be in touch with your star player, you guys, and make sure that you're not contracting again with someone that you're that's already over with. Don't, don't do the contract. What else? Containing romantic feelings. Of course you are. So, I guess the main thing is, if, you're main t if you're, your feelings are real and worth exploring, that means trusting yourself. What your heart really, really wants, you have to fight for it. Okay? Let's take a look at your goddess card. By the way, I'm still offering my love readings, soulmate readings, whoops, reconciliation readings, and romantic readings, like who's coming in your future. Um, been getting some of those, and those are 33.33 for those readings if you'd like one. Just email me. It'll be in the box below. Okay? So much love. So much love. I'm here for you. All right? Every one of you are sacred to me. I may have issues with my memory because I'm a channel, and many, many, many messages go through me regularly. And so if I do forget things, I'm, I have a book I write down your private information in so it can be accessed uh, if you ever want to come back for repeat readings. All right? I love you. Here goes. Mother Earth. Ma Wu, you're called upon to help with environmentalism. This must be somebody we're speaking to. Um, show me what this is. Endings and beginnings for yourself. Endings and beginnings for somebody. <clears throat> you have no choice. It looks like Kali has come in like the tower. And change this goddess's life, empowering her to free herself and do what she needs to do. It's time now to take back control of your life, whoever you are. You're kind of a unicorn person. You believe in magic, obviously. You could be a Scorpio. Kali is very much like that kind of energy. This is Scorpio energy as we are doing this reading. Romantic feelings. It could very well be that somebody is going to be going on some kind of a environmentalism uh, program where they're going to go help clean up certain parts of the planet. I don't know why I keep hearing the beaches. Somebody's going to be going to the beaches and cleaning them up. Uh, I think that's necessary. Um, working for environmentalism. So whoever you are, you're very earth-oriented. And that's what you're up to. And that's a nice energy to take on anyway, goddesses, any of you. It truly is. So tell me what is, 
what is one of the issues that they're dealing with or advice for this goddess that I'm reading for? May you all be enlightened, empowered to stand in your truth, to be strong, to know that the universe has your back, that you create everything for yourself and your powerful, beautiful beings. You're stepping up. The planet Mother Gaia is stepping up to support you guys, especially the Divine Feminines here, okay? Um, the energy of the Divine Feminine is being a little more supported in spite of what you might see around you. So we're here to support each other. The word wants to be written. Wow. Okay, this is a very strong message for somebody. I think this is a traveler. Whoever you are, you want you are a traveler. I don't know what it is you do, but I do believe it's blogging and teaching meditation, maybe. Let's take a look at that and see what that is. Maybe you need to break away from a mother and get your own get get on your own path is another thing I just heard. That's another thing I heard from somebody. Trying to break away from their mother. Having romantic feelings for someone though. Being yourself becomes easier when you grow your give yourself permission to love, honor. And accept yourself in all circumstances. Especially the ones where you might be more tempted to reject and judge. Give the sacred rebel within the opportunity to decide your values. Irrespective of whether they meet with general social acceptance. This oracle brings you the message that what you are dreaming of or seeking to do, create, live, or manifest is actually very natural to you. That is why you want to do it. If you experienced controlling and manipulative forces as you were growing up, you would have found it hard to access your natural state at the time. You would have been too busy trying to adapt and get through the trials of childhood. When you finished navigating childhood and started to let go of who you were taught to be in order to become who you really are, you may have found your life path was not easily accessible. That is simply because your true and natural self was covered by layers of shame from the early conditioning that you had to be other than you are in order to win love or be acceptable. However, the natural self hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there within you. <clears throat> Now it is just about chipping away at the walls of shame, perhaps, with a defiant, who the hell cares? I'm here, and I'm going to love myself anyway. This allows you to risk bearing, uh, bearing the feelings of any shame that arises as you release old emotional wounds and break away from any constraints, restraints to unconditional self-love. <clears throat> The sacred rebel within it empowers you to love yourself no matter what, simply because you want to. You might decide to declare, I am still lovable, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> this will send an energetic message to whoever shamed, whoever shamed you in the first place, whether they meant to or not. Your message could be going to a parent, a school teacher, a sibling, a friend, a lover, or anyone else that was struggling enough with their own shame wound that they couldn't help but dump it on you. You can be free to realize that the shame is just an emotion, not a truth, and you can defy any hold it has ever had on you and your ability to love yourself. This oracle brings you the guidance that you are now powerful enough to break the cycle. It is time to stop the shame and claim yourself in love. 
instead. So, what is it you're writing about your life? Let's see what they want to say about your healing. What else do you want to say about this goddess's healing here? What is it, please? Show me that. What is the healing message for this reading? Thank you so much for this time. It's actually November 3rd, but um, it was on my mind to do this way before the 3rd on the 2nd. I was experiencing a lot of miracles today. And I'm sharing that energy, but I'm tired. Somebody's procrastinating on what they need to do. Someone's holding back on their destiny. See the, see the infinity symbol? Someone's holding back on their destiny, whoever you are. Why are you doing that? Let me get another card, too. What else? There's something else going on here. Um, unleash your creativity. It's time. Someone needs to just jump out of the fear and just go do it because you will be um, protected by the universe if you just go do it. What does Isis say to you? This is a quick goddess reading. Honestly, you guys, this is for somebody specific. It's not for just everybody unless you relate to it. So bless you if you do relate to this message you've been needing to know that you have something you need to do, and it will require an ending somewhere, uh, because you you are the romantic feelings that you're having are jetting you forward into the future. You need to jump in with your creativity, stop procrastinating, and do what you need to do because your story is dying to be written. Unleash your creativity; the forces have you. You might as well have fun. <clears throat> Abundance of sophists. Abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. Continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you. Freely share your talents, your love, your wisdom, and, and self, and enjoy the abundance responsibly flowing to you in many forms over and over again. That is so nice. I love you guys. If I haven't told you. Romance Angels, what is this uh, last message for them? You opened up us up with this interesting thought of freeing yourself, allowing the ending and a brand new beginning to happen. You see, I see the world card as well. See, Kali reminds me of the death card and the world card together. And then the, the uh, page of wands. And the page of wands is that little fire sign that Tells you that things are going to get better or what you can expect in the future. One more, please. What is it? Codependency to someone. That's the problem. It has to be broken. They're talking tonight. May you be blessed. May you may be able to do this transformation that you need to do and just break out. Break out of whatever that is. That one wants to come out. Keep an open mind, you guys. Um, there's something in your future that's worth waiting for, and it looks like a, a love coming in, possibly. You know what? I'm going to pull a tarot card, too, or two, to see who this might be. Who's approaching this goddess if... She's obedient and challenges herself with her romantic feelings, steps out into the world with her gifts, boldly trusting her guides and the universe to protect her and seeking abundance because it's in, this, it's in uh, amazement. You are be, about to be amazed, and I think you're going to be amazed yourself, whoever you are. Yeah, don't look back. They're saying... You've got to go forward. You can't keep holding on to old memories that are preventing you from moving forward. You need to go right into the light. Use your solar plexus as well. Do some solar plexus self-agio frequency music. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. Um, yeah, light you up. It looks like a Leo may be dealing with you too. 
And um, the interesting thing is, this may be a perspective of mental as well. Because this emotional withdrawal card is in reverse. And then you're finding it increasingly difficult to leave a particular situation. So what does this person, what does this goddess do? Show me what they do. You get busy building. The three of coins is here. And you get busy building. You could have um, a commitment. You could finally make a commitment. And your business could grow. And your business will attract someone. Who's worth. They'll find that you're worth waiting for. They've been waiting for you. You've been uh, keeping an open mind. Because you have to have an open mind. Uh, also to learn new ways of being abundant. Partnership and alliances. Three of cups. So you have two threes here. You have a master energy here. Ascended master energy for you. Available on this journey. And you have the. Judgment card. Which is a revival. So something's going on with you goddess. Whoever you are. I send you love and blessings. I know this is a message for somebody. Take it the way you will. You are free to leave comments, like, subscribe, and share. It's up to you. Blessings, my beloveds, from my heart to yours. Bye.